welcome back to No More Misery Miss. This is the kind of vlogmas where I try and negate the misery, just a tiny bit, in very, very silly ways. And one of the ways I always cheer myself up when I'm feeling sad, I don't feel so bad, is I go through my wardrobe and I create new outfits. So I just try on outfits and I'm, I just have a little bit of a dress up, a little bit of a silly time. I really miss nights out, but in all honesty, the funnest part of a night out is always like getting dressed up with your friends, having a bit of wine, doing your makeup together. And I was thinking that in general, just about looking forward to 2022 and what it may or may not hold. I don't know if you had the same thing, but for me, I watched a lot of people do these kinds of videos in the summer because they were intending to go out and they thought that everything would be fine. I did not think that and did not have that kind of summer that a few people mythologized into being. But I'm hoping that 2022, I actually will be able to go out and do some more stuff. So I'm trying to let myself get excited about that. And even if it doesn't happen, I've realized that one of the things that I miss is getting dressed up. You'll know from my other lockdown videos that I really found a kind of salvation in getting dressed up during lockdown. So either way, in 2022, I will be wearing these outfits, indoors or outdoors, who can say? But I've come up with some fun concepts of places that I'm excited to go in 2022 and tried to throw together some secondhand outfits of things already in my wardrobe that I would wear to those events and just, just, just live in it a little bit, inhabit that hopeful space of next year and the things it could hold. So I hope that you get excited by some things that might happen in 2022 to and maybe recreate some of your own outfits under these themes but let's go here is the first outfit okay so this is my sweaty house party outfit it's very much inspired by phoebe buffet i think those of you who are not new to the channel will recognize this waistcoat it's been in so many videos uh, and originated as my tina fey mean girls outfit and then this yellow dress i got that somebody made for them from Depop and they were selling it on. So it's one of a kind. Um, and I thought they looked kind of cool together. I think that the yellow is really cool, but it's very like I'm at a wedding event or something like that. Whereas with the waistcoat, it kind of looks a little bit more chill. And also I find that it's good at house parties to have a dark color on the top because somebody will spill drink on you. You or somebody else, drink will be spilt. I always like wearing tights to house parties because you never know what the temperature is gonna be, but they're always like nice and warm and it's always nice to have something on your feet when you're walking around without shoes. I have these polka dot tights that I thought were really cool to pair with the polka dot dress. They're from Snag Tights. They're like the only tights that don't snag and stay up on my pretty feisty thighs. Um, so I really like the spotty element to them. I have a kind of warm purpley lip on, a nice little bow and some hoop earrings from Catch Reese, just to make it feel a little bit more party-like, a little bit more grown up because this is such a like five-year-old party dress, trying to like mature it a little bit without looking too boring is what we're going for. And I'd be so excited to go to a party in this outfit. Also, it's great for kitchen discos because you can do this and it feels really party-like, but you can also sit cross-legged on a sofa or on the floor and you still have loads of room for movement. Very satisfied with this one and honestly, ready to give a drunken serenade of smelly cat. Okay, this is my meeting the neighbors outfit. I don't know if any of you have had a similar experience, but I moved to a new area twice <laughs> during lockdown. And because of the restrictions, I wasn't able to really meet that many of my neighbors or people who lived in the local area. So this is my I'm new, be my friend outfit. Let me talk you through the rationale. So this is my really old pair of dungarees. I've probably had these for about 11 years or something. They've got pockets, they're really comfy, they're good if somebody invites me in to sit on their sofa and have a chat. I paired it with like a brighter polar neck, which I think gives it a bit of a zing, makes it look a little bit more modern and less scruffy. I kind of love looking scruffy, but if I was like going out and like going to like a new club or a new group, like I'd wanna look a little bit like I remember that it was happening. So that's the rationale behind this. I'm feeling kind of Steve Jobs ate an art teacher. <laughs> but then I also wanted to go for something a little bit weirder on the face, just because I think this is kind of like really mumsy and friendly. And I wanted to also just warn them that I'm a little bit, like you don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth next. So I think it's only fair when you wear bright colors, it's kind of like animals in the wild. It's good to warn people with your clothes <laughs> that your personality might be a little bit much. This is like the darkest shade of Lush's refillable lipsticks, which I really, really like. And then I've also got these tiny skulls that I got for my Helena video to kind of goth it up a little bit. And I put my hair in a kind of messy, relaxed bun to be like, come make friends with me. It'll be fine. <laughs> 
But anyway, I'm quite happy with this outfit. I've never paired these things together before, but I think I'd be friends with me. Would you? I'd, I'd want to be my friend, please. Okay, one thing I can't wait to do again is going to see theatre, particularly in the West End. And I have some regrets because I used to go and see shows like pretty often, like as often as I could, especially if they were cheap tickets or press tickets or something. But I never did the whole like, I'm going to the theatre, I should dress up thing that like I used to do when it was like more of a special occasion. And I know that a lot of people still do. And I, I really like that element of like the culture of like musicals, like going and wearing like your Sunday best. So this is what I'd wear if I was going back. It's incredibly 70s, <laughs> I realised that, with a bit of a 90s thing going on as well. I'm not really sure what it is, but I do like it, I think. Um, you might recognise this from the forlorn Fred Flintstone outfit that Craig rejected, but I'm using this blazer and I think it's really cool, even though it doesn't do up, do I care? <laughs> it also doesn't really have any real pockets, which fundamentally I think is immoral, but if I'm going to the theatre, it won't matter that much because I can have a bag with me and it's not a bother. I'm wearing some burgundy tights, a leather skirt, this orange tank top, and I thought I'd use my black choker from the Helena Bonham Carter videos and kept my top knot. I didn't want any earrings, I didn't want it to be too fussy. And also like, I hate when you have like earrings that hurt when you're in a theater or a situation you can't take them out. Uh, and also they can be a bit noisy. For the other audience members, I'm a very good citizen. I keep quiet during the theater. My top knot again, and some bright orange lipstick. This is like Lisa Eldridge Velvet Morning and it's quite bam, but I enjoy it. So yeah, should I ever darken the door of a West End theater again? this is what I would be wearing and I would be very excited and I'd, out, I'd like arrive like an hour before and have like a drink at the bar and like make more of a thing of it because I didn't know what I had till it was gone. Okay, this is my return to Kaylee's outfit. Uh, those of you who attend Kaylee's regularly, you can tell me whether this is actually appropriate since I haven't been to a Kaylee in an incredibly long time. But as I said in my 40 before 40 wish list video that I made just before all of the lockdown and stuff happened. So very interesting to get an insight into what I wanted before the pandemic. But I really wanted to attend more Kayleys and they're like literally the least COVID safe thing ever. So in that way, my brain has been going to them as almost dirty fantasies, like throwing myself around a room with loads of sweaty strangers and spitting on each other and like singing at the top of our voices. That is, that is what I would like from life. That is one of the fantasies for 2022. And in this outfit, I would have such a good time, I think. Um, this is actually the orange version of the blue princess dress that I've worn for you a few times before because I'm a fan of scouring Depop until I find something I love in another colour and then getting that too. This is actually the maternity version of this dress which just just only gives me room for more halftime pies and because sometimes those halls that they do them in can be quite cold I like that it's got velvet but then also if I sweat in it it's not the end of the world and it's also like you can kind of air yourself you know. I'm wearing it with the burgundy tights although maybe I probably just wouldn't wear tights with it to keep keep things cool down there. I'd probably also wear it with a sports bra instead of this, but, and I also really like having my hair down, but I didn't want it to get in the way. So I've got this kind of wired headband and I can pull it the whole way back with this headband as well if I just need to concentrate on the steps. Just wearing a simple gold necklace with this, no other jewelry, because it might get in the way of the action. And I would just love to live my Jane Austen, need to urgently find a rich husband best life in this dress. It would be so cool. And then also you can wear it like this for drinks in the pub afterwards or the tavern, I should probably say. But yeah, I'd be really cozy in this outfit and I think it'd be really, really fun. Thank you so much for watching this episode of No More Misery Must. If you wanna watch the rest in the series, they're here. Thank you so much to The Gumption Club for making all of these videos possible and to you for staying unmiserable, even if it was just for the duration of this video. Frog's not out.